right guys, say hi Katie. Hi. Today Katie and I are at the South Carolina State Farmer's Market where there is a plant, flower and plant show, I guess they said. I don't know, there's a lot of plants. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> so we're gonna explore this and bring you guys with us. Yeah, those are beautiful. Look at those. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, that basil smells so good. Mm, Lots of thyme. herbs. That's lemongrass right there. Yeah, I really like this Black Eyed Susan. That's so pretty. It's only $16. I feel like $16 is good for that plant. Heck yeah. That's, I mean, who knows how big that's going to get. All too. the irises. <laughs> you and, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesse song iris. All right, let's see what do they look like. I, I have so many irises already. <laughs> okay, bearded. Jesse song. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, cow patty. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that, that, that name is hilarious. <laughs> okay, almost there. There's a lot. Yeah. Right there. Oh, that's actually have some that look a lot like that. I wonder if Oh that's... my gosh, that wow. coral. Wow, it is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> that's great. See, I like the yellow and purple ones. Yes. I have so many irises already. Oh I really my gosh. Have my more. Oh, Grand Canyon sunset. Oh, we love the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is cool. Look at this worm farm. Oh, cool. I've never seen one in it's a like bag a before. Yeah. It's like a little composting. That's cool. Oh, I spot tomatoes. <laughs> they have unusual varieties. I'm coming in. Let's see if there's oh, any that you've never look. heard of. Uh, I bet there are. I don't see any yet, but... Um, Tennessee Bridges. I've never heard of that. The rest of these. Abraham Lincoln. I love all the names. Yeah, this is, this is my spot right here. I found it. I found my booth. Oh, they have peppers too. Y'all, I'm getting excited. All of those <laughs> ornamental things I appreciate, but I'm not like, take my money. But when I come into the peppers and tomatoes, I'm like, give me these plants. Oh, that's cool. Thai hot pepper. Yeah, I like how they grow. Like how they grow. That's very Ooh, neat. purple serrano. I don't have those started. Only a few too. All right, I'm gonna buy some plants. I really like how they did their tags. They stamped it on these um, little popsicle sticks. That's cute. We spotted the maples and they, they wooed us over. <laughs> Look at this tree. Oh my, goodness. my goodness. That's beautiful. If you only had $3,200 in a place in your Airstream. <laughs> Look at it. It's gorgeous. Look at this little guy. I know. This would fit in the Airstream. Yeah, that, that's the Airstream maple tree right there. That's called fairy hair. Fairy hair, extremely fine green foliage. Wow. Almost like long threads of hair. It's so soft. It's a dwarf, it just makes dwarf me want to tree touch it. form. Dwarf, so it doesn't get very big. It says uh, 10 year height is three feet. Oh, wow. This <laughs> one is called um, harp strings. So pretty. I'm just so amazed by this. It's, it's neat, but it's really pretty unimpressive. Yeah. I would, if it was big with those that foliage. Oh, did you catch some trash? Yeah. This is really beautiful. Look at the, yes. y'all we're looking at the same thing. Butterfly variegated. Wow. Look how thick this trunk. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I wonder how old this tree is. I know, eight to 10 feet. So it's so. probably almost full grown. I would assume. That's it's like, what, six feet now? That is gorgeous. That var variegated maple. I've never seen that before. Oh, native plants. Yes. This is a cool booth. I like this. Yeah, when I planted one single pot of sweet potato vine in my cottage garden last year, and it literally yeah. took over the entire thing. I believe that. This is a really pretty one, though. This is I like this. Kind of like multicolored look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, these are always so cool. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Look, culinary herb and plant growers. 
Look like. at that big basil plant. They put the culinary oh, stuff over here by plants. the popcorn. Shrimp oh. plant. See how it looks like that a little shrimp? so cute. Yeah. He's like this. Yeah. <laughs> All these chives are about to bloom. They look like truffle mm. trees to me. Mm. Chinese spring flowers. So cool. I like how we're just reading I'm all the tags. I'm gonna get one. That's cool. Mistletoe cactus. Light. Without strong sunshine. That's a good camper plant. Yeah, and look, it would look good in my panther. Mm-hmm. Or one of my little planters. Yeah. Because they don't, you yeah. know, you don't have to water them too much. That's a cool one. This is cool. Okay. That's cool. That is cool. Look at this flowering. Oh, that's oh, a no, pretty. That's that. That's a pretty one though. Nice and trailing. Yeah. Wind starts blowing and all I smell is herbs. <laughs> <laughs> like it's delightful. <laughs> what a lovely place to be standing in a strong wind. <laughs> oh, these are very cool. I had one of these in my bathroom. I killed it. Um, Do they not need a whole lot of sh uh, sun, huh? I just didn't water it enough, I think, which is saying something because it's a fern. I think they're pretty hard to, to kill, but uh, look at that rabbit foot fern. They hang out. They look like tarantula legs to me. They're so cool. That star creeper is really pretty. Oh, that's this is pretty. what I'm gonna put out in front of my salon. Oh, that's cool, yeah. yeah. Grassy and grassy, you know. Look at these. Oh, watch out for the, these oh, are boss. desert, uh, what are they called, desert? I don't know. Um, desert, not desert rose, what is it? They're really pretty. But yeah, it's Man, a succulent. Get yeah. Succulent cactus, I don't know, but yeah, watch it, watch it. <laughs> Got some nasturtiums. Yeah, that's a great plant. Oh, look at all the begonias. Look at that silvery pink. Yeah, Sinbad. That's kind of like one I have in yeah. my living room. Oh, I like that. The looking glass. Yeah, that is pretty. I love, I love it. Me too. <laughs> Goldfish plant. It feels like a succulent almost. Yeah. Tropical plant. The, the flowers, flowers look, look like goldfish. goldfish without the fins. Wow. I just want to like look that up. Yeah. Oh, Cuban oregano. I had some of this. That's beautiful. It's culinary herb that rivals oregano Ooh. in time for its robust flavor. Oh. And it's like, I had some of this and I I lost it in my move. Get you one. Yeah, I'm getting one of these. Get you one. Lemon, Lemon and, and fern. Like, Are you just as captivated by the names sometimes yes, as the plant? I totally put, grow plants simply for their names. They're marked uh, two bucks off too. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. pretty. That's great. That would probably be a good camper plant. A little fern. I think they're pretty forgiving. Of yeah, them. absolutely. Mm -hmm. A little bag of plants. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. So cool. Is oh, that more maples bag. over here? That is. Well, you must live in a good climate for maples. Oh, Dune cool. Lane. Wow. Jewel rare mix of red and white variegation. Yeah, that is a showpiece. All right, it's the next day. I'm gonna pop in on Drew and Katie. I did clarify this earlier. Katie's my sister-in-law. My brother and his lovely lady are here visiting us for a few weeks. They've been in this Airstream. And we're gonna go in and say hi. I like when she, she just again. falls asleep and falls right off the couch. <laughs> you just gotta get the light touch. <laughs> Look at her. And then sometimes I like to try to put my nose on her nose without her licking me, which is really hard, you know, but uh, I'll put it there and then try to pull back real quick and then get right back in there. Oh, she's oh, sleeping. Baby. She's sleeping. Oh, I said her name. Oh, well, crap. Yeah, she is so sweet. She's a good dog. Okay, I was going to show you a little planty you got oh, yesterday yeah. oh, in yes. your planters. Yes. So this is Drew and Katie's Airstream that they have been traveling the country in for a year. And here's your mistletoe cactus we got yesterday. And you're gonna put it in one of your little cutie planters? Yes, yeah, so check this plant out. This oh, cool. nice. The pheasant, pheasant. yeah. Pheasant. So y'all see showy. Been finding these around at yes. the wheels all over the place? I've got, let me dig out. Like I'll dig out this other one. You got Let's the see. fish. The sheep's head? Yeah. Was that at a Goodwill or was that at a uh, thrift store? Thrift store. Oh, There's cool. I think they call that a bass online, but it's a sheep's head. Right? A sheep's head. And then we have these guys. Those are cool. I and mean, here's all your plants that have... Those are from the 70s, mm -hmm. Jess. 70s and 80s. A little animal. Oh, yeah. The 60s, yeah. The 60s. When those were really big, yeah. 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 yeah, lots of planties out here. It is super fun having my brother staying right 
next to my house. Um, I'm just so tickled by that. I keep going over and being like, hey neighbor. <laughs> Um, and Ben came in earlier. He goes, I need some milk to take to Drew and Katie. He went and delivered it. They said it was well shaken by the time he got to them because he's holding this half gallon jar and running over to them. It was funny. So my camera died at the sale yesterday and I didn't get to show y'all kind of everything I got. So we're going to go out in the greenhouse and take a look. I guess it's officially spring whenever the mowing has to start. We love that smell of fresh grass. Very nice. So we've had a lot of rain and storms this week. We've got a layer of straw down to kind of hinder slipping around in the mud. All right, let's take a look in here. What a lovely sight. This place is full of life. So all these plants are the ones we've started here this year. There's my citrus around the edge. And here, wow, we got more new stuff coming up. French marigolds coming up, some little chamomile sprouts. That's holy basil. These straw flowers, I did a whole tray of these because I just wasn't sure what the germination would be like, but I've got quite a few here. I'll probably end up with extras of those. Oh, look, happy birthday, little amaranth. This is that Hopi red dye amaranth. And I'm not seeing anything here just yet. Oh, these are the ranunculus. I got some ranunculus. It's, it's really kind of late for these, but um, they came in little um, corms and I decided to go ahead and start them anyway. All right, so here's what I picked up at the plant sale. I'm actually gonna grab the hose real quick and give these some water because some of them are starting to droop a bit. So a lot of these came in those little biodegradable pots and I'm probably gonna up pot them just because I don't have my spaces ready and I'd like to let them get a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna put them in some of the other pots I have. So excited. Uh, now I had stopped at this one little stand that I had the many varieties of tomatoes and they actually had some that I did not start uh, as well as some other things that I didn't start yet. Now they had a couple, I got a couple of these Kha'Zix pineapple ground cherries. Um, I started some Aunt Molly's ground cherries. They're extremely similar actually. Here are the ground cherries I started. So they're really not that much like bigger than the ones I started. But pineapple ground cherries were the original ones that we got that Maya liked so much. So though the Aunt Molly's would have been sufficient since I saw these, I went ahead and grabbed a couple. Uh, they also had some roselle starts because I realized recently that I did not have any roselle seeds. And I figured that at this point, by the time I ordered them and got them started, um, it would have been a little later than I would have liked. So I'm happy to have those. Uh, Roselle is in the marshmallow family as well, like with, it's a kind of like hibiscus. Um, and it makes a really lovely tea, Roselle tea. Some people call it Rosella. Um, and it, you can also make jam with it. And so I'm excited to have that. I did also get a couple of eggplants, um, Rosa Bianca. I didn't, I did start some eggplants, not just a ton, but I had mentioned once on a video that I didn't have a way to preserve eggplant and you guys sent me a lot of really good ideas and I thought, well, having a little bit extra eggplant probably would not go amiss. As far as tomatoes, I did grab a few kinds. I've started everything that I really wanted to have, uh, but they had some that I just hadn't seen, like this little sweet scarlet. I think that was like a bush dwarf variety. This is Firebird Sweet Dwarf. So the dwarf plants, I'll put those in pots. I'm gonna have a lot of tomato plants in the ground. A lot of times I will focus on doing something like that, more to be able to show you guys options rather than necessarily something that I need. So the, I thought, oh, it might be kind of cool to show some dwarf plants maybe in a pot, in a green stalk. And that way I can just kind of model for you guys an option of what you can do if you're in limited space. Indigo Rose. Let's see, a Sapiti Italian paste. That one had an interesting description. It said the tomatoes were shaped kind of like banana peppers and that were almost all meat. Thought, eh, I could go for that. That's another little bush, better bush. Um, anytime you see a tomato called a bush tomato, it's usually meaning that it's a determinate. Um, not always a dwarf variety. Dwarf varieties are, they stay a lot smaller, but. A bush tomato, if you're gonna put a tomato in a green stalk or a container, I have done indeterminates, but I, I feel like the bush determinate varieties tend to do better in those situations in containers. 
I got some sheep nose pimento, um, another one that was called cheese pimento. Pimento cheese is kind of a big deal here in South Carolina. It was less of a big deal in Arkansas. I guess it it's more like a true southern thing. I don't know. Do you guys have pimento cheese where you live? Where do you live? Is that something you're familiar with? I love pimento cheese. I think it's delicious. And I wanted to grow the pimento peppers to make some myself. Sweet chocolate bell. I think I showed those earlier in the video. And I also saw some purple serranos. I like serrano peppers. I've started serrano peppers, but not the purple ones. And red marconis. I couldn't remember if I had started any, so I went ahead and grabbed a few just in case because that's one of my favorite peppers. They're so sweet and just thick. I got this plant, which is called... I might be saying this wrong, but I think it's culantro. And this is a plant that is often grown by people who live in very hot places that can't grow cilantro. So if you've ever tried to grow cilantro in a place that's really, really warm, you found it goes straight to seed and, and flowers and bolts. Which kind of stinks because if you're trying to grow like a salsa garden, you can grow your tomatoes and peppers and onions all at once and garlic. Um, and even here, I could even grow the citrus, but I can't grow cilantro at the time I'm harvesting all that other stuff because it'll be too hot. I've heard some very um, strong opinions about this plant. People either think it's great or they really hate it, but it really does smell like cilantro. So I figured I would give it a shot. It would be good to have. This was an interesting one. It's called Finger Bowl Lemon Scented Geranium. Um, and this is a plant that people use for deterring mosquitoes, much like citronella. Um, this is very similar to that. Like, And I thought it would be really cool to get this, let it get really big, and be able to maybe infuse this with some oils to make like a mosquito balm or something like that. I got some Cubanelle peppers, some Padron peppers. Both of those I've grown before, but couldn't remember if I started. This is holy basil. Now, I just showed you guys I have a couple little sprouts of holy basil over there, and that's great. I will plant lots of this, but when I saw this and I smelled it, this smelled, oh my gosh, it, even just taking a big whiff of this now, it makes me want to cry. Um, I've had holy basil growing in my garden for years, and this is the smell of being in the garden to me because I just can't walk past it without t touching it and smelling it, breaking off a leaf. Um, and just smelling this now just takes me back to being in that happy place of the garden. So I brought this home because it did that for me and I was like, yes, I need that. So I'm going to get that probably planted in a good sized pot so it can start to grow. And then once we have like beds in order, I'll put it somewhere out there and then hopefully it'll reseed and just grow everywhere all over my farm. Uh, that would make me super happy. And then I showed you guys earlier in the video this Cuban oregano. Also a really, really pungent smell. And then these are really cool. I got, um, well first I got this goji berry. There's actually a couple of plants in there. So that's really cool. This is just a fig tree. Now I have multiple fig trees already. But this one was just such a lovely little specimen. It's a Chicago hardy fig and it was $10. So I just was like, well, you know, what's another fig tree? This is actually a fuzzy kiwi. And with kiwi, you have to have a male and female plant, which I do. This is a male and a female. But they did tell me that the male plants are typically the first to die, that usually the female plants take off and the male struggles so to baby this one. So we're definitely going to do that. Did not end up buying much that was like ornamental. I was really kind of focusing on the food garden, obviously. But I have thought about going back. I saw a couple of cool banana trees and like I just saw a couple of things that I was like, ooh. But that plant sale is going on, I think through Saturday or Sunday. If you look it up, it's the South Carolina State Farmers Market plant sale or plant and flower show, I think is what they called it if you Google that. I went on Thursday. April 7th and um, I'm gonna kind of bump this video up so you're gonna see some stuff that happened before this after it so I can get this up so you guys can know about that sale because I think it would be beneficial for a lot of you guys to know that's going on. Oh I also bought this lovely metal monstera leaf to hang out in my garden. All right well thank you guys for going on that little adventure with us. That was super fun and editing the first part of this video was really fun. I was like man I'm really glad we got to get footage of that. So I bless you until next time.